this morning I kindly trekked myself to an egg banjo. Let's get on with it. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. Happy Friday folks! Wasn't that a lovely uh, first daffodil of the spring? I'm glad I caught it, I actually turned around on the way to work to go and pick up our time lapse. Anywho, uh, today I'm climbing inside that. Yeah, I am. So I'm going to put in this. This copper hoop. Hey, watch this. Uh. Yeah, anyway. So this is going to go on the inside to, oh shit I've lost a bit out of it now. This is going to go on the inside to uh, back off the weld. Um, I'm going to have to do the outsides first. Scratch that then, I'm not use, this will go into back off the inside and I'll be welding on the outside and then I'll weld on the inside another day. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But this still has to go in here. It's good fit, hey, eh? like the German Frau line, good and tight. The time, the time. There's no sun up in the sky, I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky, I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky, I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky, I don't know why. Every time, the time, the time, the time, the time. Been all the way around that tank, it took me about 35 minutes. I've really powered along, so that's two and a half meters of weld in 35 minutes. That's not bad going. I'm gonna chuck it back up on the bench, check out whether there's any coking on the inside, remove that chill bar, that piece of copper that we put in. I anticipate that there will be some coking because I had the amps high, I had a wide bead, and I flowed it in really, really quite nicely. In fact, I'll just quickly show you. You can see how we've really pulled along on this bead here. It looks a lot better than last time. And uh, because of the width of the bead, I'm expecting maybe a little bit of contamination on the back side where it's, the air's got to it. Might not, fingers crossed. We'll chuck it up on the table and we'll find out. Smells a little bit burnt. That could be the wood getting part in there. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a sizzle on the back of the uh, support. Got the torch. In we go, inspection time. There's a little bit, nothing that I can't reflow, which is why I do the inside last and then we've got the best finish that we can achieve there. So I'm happy with that, I'm going to drag the next lantern in and uh, same thing again, I'm going to run all the external beads on all these tanks, so we've got all five tanks ticked up on the outside and then I will jump inside and weld them all from the inside too. I mean getting the cones on is a real achievement, but you've got to remember they're only tacked. So whilst it looks like we've made a massive step, there's going to be three or four days of me welding inside a tank, which really doesn't make 
for entertaining vlog material, but it is a necessity. And then of course, there's all of the welding for the uh, stiffening rings that have gone, stiffening ring, that have gone onto the top of the tanks. So if you think about it, we have got 15 metres of welding to do on each tank, and there are four more tanks to do. So we've got 60 metres of weld to get through in the next couple of days before we can move on to the next stage. That's a lot of welding. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. There's no sun up in the sky. Don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. Don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. Don't know why. Oh my God, my neck is killing me. It is just past six o'clock. I've been under that welding hood for hours today, absolute hours. And I've just emptied this bottle of Argon. We're down to 20 PSI. She's done for, she's gone, she's empty. It's just, there we go. So I'm gonna change over to this big boy. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to change a pipe out. So if I do, I'll do that tomorrow or Monday, depending on when I get into work. But as it stands now, I'm just going to see if it fits. Oh. And then I'm going for a pint before I go home. I've not had any lunch today, have I? Well, she just fits, but she's not long enough. Fortunately, I did buy 30 meters of 10 millimeter. Oh my, she's away. So this one has a solid 3000 PSI in there. She's good to go. So I've turned her off like the German Fraulein that we all know and love, good and tight. And I will see you on tomorrow's vlog. Cheers, guys. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky.